Today my guest is Michael Eden. Mike, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good, Dave. Today we have the uh, Kalamazoo X Conference, yep. which is your baby. Well, I, it's it's certainly not my baby. I'm, I've become the face of it a little bit, uh -huh. but there's certainly uh, three or four people behind the scenes. That, Let's that get that out of the way right now. Give credit where credit's due. Absolutely. Um, so it's it's the, the planning team is myself, Mike uh, Markle, Mark Gilbert, Matt Davis, uh, as well as Marty Adams. Um, they all played a significant role this year in, in making this happen. Um, you know, uh, one of the things this week is I was hammered with work, uh, hammered with client work, and, and I deferred just a ton of stuff to Mark. It's like, man, just make it happen, and he did. And Michael's been outstanding with taking care of the money and making sure that we're not overspending and we've got enough coming in and and uh, just taking care of that stuff. So it's been really, really good. So, I mean, they did the hard part. You know, I, I think I had the easy part today of, of getting up and, and introducing the speakers and things. Yeah, well, I thought it went really well. And I should point out also that I, I was on a call earlier this week about the Give Camp that you're heading up yep. and about uh, the uh, day of .NET, uh, which you're involved in as well. So <laughs> yep. in addition to your day job, you have a couple of other I side do. projects I, going on yep. <laughs> in the community. Uh, but hey, so, um, so you and I do similar things for a living. We both write software for a living. Yep. And so as a result, uh, we're both pretty active out in the development community. So I see you a lot at conferences. Mm -hmm. but it's almost always a developer yeah. conference, a technical conference focused right. on uh, technical expertise. This conference is different. Right, absolutely. We uh, we focus this conference more on, on the softer skills, you know, things that developers are typically bad at, and we lump several things into that. So we have your typical soft skills, like uh, you know, Brian Prince, one of our evangelists, gives a uh, gave a talk on soft skills, which were, you know, find a mentor and, and you know, this is how you should act at work, that kind of stuff. So we kind of lump a bunch of stuff into that. So we have like the real soft skills, the real interpersonal communication. Um, we have sessions on um, design and when I talk design I'm talking more of the user interface user experience mm -hmm. uh, which developers are, are typically bad at um, you had a couple sessions on design yep and, and you know we also try to hit topics on you know marketing and branding and, and those kinds of things just the things that that we don't um, we don't give enough thought to okay um, I know last year we you know we had some on design patterns and, and architecture um, you know this year it was um, it's just a, a wide variety of things. You know, we, we had uh, Jennifer Marsman give a talk this year on women in technology and how we can grow that community, um, which again is not is something that we, we don't give a lot of thought to. And there were a lot of thought-provoking talks today, um, which which is the, the whole point of, of this conference is it's not hardcore tech, it will never be hardcore tech. Um, we'll leave that to the days of .NET and the code camps. Mm -hmm. um, and and th this will always be, you know, the, the other stuff. Well, we had a great lineup of speakers today that uh, contributed to success a lot. I think absolutely uh, a lot of people came up from a lot of people from Michigan from here in Michigan, and also people from Ohio. One guy from Tennessee came up to speak. Yeah, yeah. We so speaking at, at Kalamazoo X, you know, I, I made a, a decision last year to not do an open call for speakers, mm -hmm. mainly because last year I was crunched for time, um, and, and I was just terrified of, of oh my god, what if I get a you know two hundred submissions? You know, we'll have to go through those. So what I did is is I reached out to my friends last year. Uh, you you spoke last year. Um, and I reached out and I said, would you guys come up here? You know, last year was the first one, so I wanted to make sure it was successful. So we carried that over this year. So I started hitting speakers up probably three or four months ago, saying, hey, I would love to have you come up and talk. Um, you know, some of those fell through early on because you know people didn't. It's hard to commit that far in advance. Mm -hmm. um, so, but we still had a, a solid lineup. We had five Microsoft MVPs, um, you know, and we, you know, Alan Stevens came up from uh, from Knoxville, made the eight-hour drive. Um, we had three Microsoft evangelists, and then we just had some other. It wasn't just a Microsoft event. Oh, absolutely not. In fact, you know, that's the one cool thing about this is is no one really ever talked about you know, here. Here is a technology you should use. It was more, you know, like the evangelists. Um, two of them talked about growing the community. Mm -hmm. um, the other one talked about resumes. That's awesome. Um, you know, Alan came up and, and, you know, even though he's an MVP, you know, he gave a talk on um, uh, basically, you know, does your code tell a story comparing writing software to writing a book, which was, which was fascinating. That was just a fantastic talk. Um, Phil Japixi gave a talk on um, why testing is important, but he never once brought up code or talked about, hey, Visual Studio does this. I mean, it was, it's, it's totally not, you know, Microsoft focused 
which I think is, is just, uh, it's really cool that we have the turnout we do for an event like this. Mm -hmm. I'm glad people find it and see the importance of this. Yeah, I think last year there was uh, a little bit of code in some of the design pattern talks, and uh, yep. I can't remember exactly what else was. But th this year, I, I don't think I saw any code on the main slide at all. No, yeah, last year, you know, Mike Wood did did a little bit of, of code um, just to, to illustrate some design patterns, right. which was cool. I was fine with that. Yeah. Um, this year, you know, people just people knew what the expectations were, and, and what we did uh, is I was soliciting the speakers this year as I was emailing him, we iterated over a lot of the topics. Mm -hmm. You know, Phil Japixi, his first um, iteration of his talk was going to be like, you know, like testing and here's Visual Studio and here's... Ah, you know, uh, so this is an accident. You, you, you discouraged him from get diving into I, I, Visual I Studio. Said, I said, well, Phil, what we... Well, the, the, the last line of his original abstract said, you must be an expert in unit testing. And I said, Phil, that's not going to fly. Right. Here's what I would like to see. More, I, something more approachable. I would like to see why testing is important. And Phil's a fantastic speaker, and he did a really good job of, of taking that role and running with it. Um, and that's happened with some other talks too. You know, I um, I had a couple uh, speakers submit a couple of, of topics. I said basically what I what I do when I approach people is I say, I'd love to have you at X. Here's the format. You tell me what you want to talk about. Um, so. You know, I mean, uh, you know, last year, I mentioned that to a couple of people, and, you know, Leon Gersing last year, his was just, just amazing, and it was just a one of those talks that, that uh, doesn't come around very often. And so I did the same thing this year. I was real comfortable with that. And, again, all the speakers, I knew every one of the speakers today except one. Today was the first day I met her. But she did a, a joint presentation with a good friend of mine, Jeff McWhirt. So... I was totally comfortable with with that, with letting you know, with, with her speaking. It was a good talk too. Yeah, it was definitely a really good talk. Um, that's and that's something that we don't have enough of. of you know, how do we as developers interact with with designers? Because mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's like it's typically this, right? I'm sure, they're like a different species. They things. are like a different species. <laughs> uh, uh, so Kalamazoo X. Uh, well, first of all, why is it called Kalamazoo X? <laughs> Kalamazoo X. Uh, it started out as our kind of our code name for mm -hmm. the event. Um, you know, we didn't want to have the, the Kalamazoo Soft Skills Conference. And that just wasn't wasn't catchy enough. So we, we started out, and I think it was, uh, it might have been Michael that came up with, with that original Kalamazoo X code name. Which Michael? Uh, Markle. And so he, uh, we came up with it. It was just this code name, and it's finally, we got to a point, it's like, let's just call it that. Right. And so, <laughs> so the first year I spun it as, well, you know, X equals soft skills. That gave us some flexibility. You know, it's like the programming thing. Let X equals soft skills, and, and so we could, we could, yeah. So we could certainly expand into other things, but um, it kind of st is stuck. Mm -hmm. um, and, and there's enough buzz behind the name now where it's, I'm, I don't plan on changing it. Um, you don't plan on changing it for next year. Does that mean that there will be a Calibre X 2011? You know, we're gonna we're gonna chill out for a little bit. Okay. Um, we're gonna go go have a few drinks tonight, and, and we'll talk next week. And uh, I can't imagine not doing it because it is such a different event. Mm -hmm. um, you know, th there's so many code camps and days of .NET out there that, that this really is a standout event in this region. Um, we don't have people giving these kind of talks at, at the normal event. So, um, I, I talked to a good friend of mine um, last week, uh, Jim Holmes, and you know, I, I I was kind of skeptical at that point of man. I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm, if, I want to do this next year. And he's like, dude, don't let numbers, don't let the number of people that show up, if, t if 10 people show up, still do it next year. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that was really cool, and, and that makes me feel good. And we got a lot of good feedback today, a lot of fantastic feedback of, of you know, I watched the Twitter stream, and, and, you know, people were just jazzed about the content. They just couldn't I was going to bring that up. I, I think Jim said this was uh, – uh, this and Code Mesh were his two favorite conferences, yep. and he's actively involved in organizing Code Mesh. Uh, that wasn't the only sentiment. Uh, the only person that I heard expressed that sentiment that uh, this is one of their favorite conferences. Yeah, and you know, so the passion, uh, the numbers. I'm not sure. I wish we had about 50 people here. Uh, I think I think we had 65, 65 all together. Okay, um, and uh, uh, so the numbers only tell part of the story. Mm -hmm. uh, the other part of it is just the passion people feel for it. Yeah, just are excited to come here. Yeah, well, why is that? Either? Um, I think because it is different. And, you know, so when we first started planning this last year, when, when we did the first one, um, we planned to do a typical event, multiple tracks, you know, 
five speakers and you know, or, or no, 25 speakers and you know, five tracks and, and your typical event. And it got to be probably three weeks out from the event. Um, and we, we sat down at a restaurant across town here in Kalamazoo and we said, you know what, Let, let's, let's take this risk. Let's make this a single track. Because the, the, the big issue with the multiple track conference is you have to pick. Right. I have to pick between, do I want to see Dave GR today or do I want to see Jim Holmes today? Because a lot of times, you know, two people are going to be put up against each other. Mm -hmm. With this, it's a single track. So everyone sits in and they see everything at the same time. And the feedback I got last year and leading up to this one was they like that because at lunchtime that gives people this, this common thing to discuss because mm -hmm. they've all seen the same thing and it's not like hey what did you go see oh I saw this and it was ter terrible you know right. or, else, or somebody saw something that you really kick yourself in missing yeah and uh, it forces uh, us as attendees to take chances yeah uh, we, we're not uh, on a multi-track events I, I tend to stick with things that I know yeah uh, I think a lot of people do in this case uh, there are a lot of things that I might not have chosen to go see but I enjoyed all the sessions I saw yeah and, and the cool thing too is I, this really challenges the speakers too because most, most places you go, you have between 60 and 90 minutes to give a talk, sometimes longer. I've, I've done a three-hour session before, but um, this really challenges the speakers to get their point across in 30 minutes. Last year we did 20. It was a challenge. Um, it was a challenge. <laughs> um, and and I'm, I'm envious of, of you guys that have done this because it, that seems exciting to be able to you know, get up there and have to get your point across as quickly as you can. There's sure. no, no messing around. Um, You've got no crutch. It's like you're up there for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, and so it, it's really cool to see the speakers excited to do it, um, especially speakers that, that typically have long talks. Um, and they're like, man, that's a challenge. I'm going to right? get my 90-minute talk to fit in 30. Yeah, and I even when I have a 90-minute talk, I, I, I always seem to run out of time. Talks, my talks always seem to go long. Getting enough material is never the problem. It's scaling it back. Whether it's yeah, and, it could be could be six hours long. I think I'd still have that problem. And, and every speaker <laughs> uh, has today did a, just an, an outstanding job of keeping within their time frame. Yeah. Um, and and getting their points across. the end of the day it's Kalamazoo Michigan I'm just Christy is there a place around here that uh, I could grab a beer and well there is going to be some technology and friends over at Bell's Brewery um, which is just a block or two away um, we're gonna go over there and hang out for a little bit and relax and uh, talk some more about tech and anything else that comes up perfect